everybody and welcome back to Panda Create Tutorials. I'm Panda and today I'm going to be showing you how to attach these cute little charms to your resin pens. Now if you have never made a resin pen before there's a little link that's about to pop up the top of your screen to tell you everything that you need to know from prep to packaging on how to create your first resin pen. But as you can see these are already done and today I'm just going to show you how to attach these cute little charms. So what you will need is your pens that are already completed, right? They have to be finished and fully cured for you to move on to this step because once the charm goes on, there's no taking the um, pen back apart. Okay, so make sure that your pens are ready. You will also need, um, let's start from the top, some jewelry chain and the tweezers to cut it the pliers to cut it whatever they're called um, I use tweezers for the o-rings as well so they may come in handy I am using four millimeter jump rings some little charms we've got a butterfly and a leaf that we're using today um, and obviously your pen you will also need something to oh uh, where are they these little eye pins we're using as well Okay, so eye pins, chain, charm, 4mm jump rings, a completed pen, um, and some kind of drill. Now, you can use your Dremel if you have a steady hand. Um, otherwise, I'm using a USB electric drill today, and the little hand drills also work. Now, I got this from LBB Resin, so I will leave the link in the description if you'd like to grab one. Um, otherwise, it's just right any USB um, electric hand drill. Just a tiny, tiny little one. Uh, let's get started. So we're going to do both of these. Otherwise, it would be like literally a two-minute video. But the first thing that you want to do is your little silver clicky bits from your um, ink joy pens. I'm using the Papermate ink joy pens for these. You want to drill a hole where the side comes up to the top. There's just a tiny, tiny, I'll see if I can get it to focus. So I've got spray paint all over my hands, guys. Please focus. See that tiny, tiny little lip at the very top before the actual top across part goes? That's where we're going to be drilling our hole. All right. So with your little hand drill. And I'm going to do the second one at the same time. Sorry guys, I know I'm probably blocking your view. I'm left-handed. So it's hard for me to do this in a way where you can still see. There we go. That one was a little bit harder. Okay, so now I have, that one's probably just a little bit low. Um, we'll get it to focus. See that tiny, tiny little hole at the top? Okay, and on this one as well, that one worked better. See how it's right at the top on that lip? That's where you want to get it. See all the spray paint on my hands? I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so once you have drilled your holes, let's put our charm links together. Right? So you want to get, I've got two bits of chain for both of my charms and you're going to want two jump rings for each of them okay so they're my four little meter, little four millimeter jump rings and get my tweezers and for one end of the charm you want to put your chain on and your charm like so and then on the other end these little eye pins 
are what we're going to screw into our pen. So the other end, we'll get our O-ring. We want to put the other end of our chain and one of our eye pins on. Okay, so that is, what? Well, please focus, that is the whole piece once it's together. So you've got a jump ring and your charm down one bottom of the chain and a jump ring with your eye pin at the other end. Okay. So we're gonna do the other one quickly, but I'm gonna use both pairs of my tweezers this time because I'm a bit of a butterfingers today. No, I'm not, because that's just annoying. Okay, so one end with, where's our little leaf? Isn't there like that? And then the other end with the jump ring and the eye pin. sure they're well done okay so once you've got your charm all connected to the chain and everything I'm going to move everything out of the way so I've got room to work you want to put your pens together okay so the silver bit goes in first then the little black clicky bit very technical terms guys then the ink and then your end piece okay now once the charm is attached you're not going to be able to pull this bit out anymore they are still going to be able to twist the bottom and replace the ink like use the refills the ink refills so that it's a obviously a refillable pen but this bit once the charm is attached that's there permanently right you are not going to be able to pull that back through once the eye pin goes in okay so we're going to use the little leafy feather looking one on this one and you you want to twist it into this hole, but you want to do it at an angle. You don't want to go straight in this way. You want to go down at an angle. Okay. So again, sorry guys, I'm left-handed. I'm going to put my pin at an angle like that and start twisting down. Okay, see how it's pointing down? And now I'm going to twist that in. Until it's nice and secure. Now, you want your eye pin to sit horizontally. If it's going up and down the clicker, you're not going to be able to click your pen. Okay, if it goes side to side, however, see, it still works. So make sure that that's done. And then that is how easy it is. Now, I do go ahead and put a tiny, tiny little drop, and I mean like the tiniest little drop of super glue just in that eye pin connection just to make sure that that pin doesn't go anywhere right so it's the tiniest little drop please focus right and now I will sit that with my charm pulled up that way like that to give it a chance to dry without gluing my o-ring Um, that's attached to the chain is the word that I'm looking for so those steps again get your pen 
I'm going to put our little silver clicker, our black bit, our ink, and our end piece. Unclick that so that it's nice and secured. And then this one we're putting because it's sunflowers. I didn't have any little flowers, which I was a bit disappointed in. But we're going to use a tiny, tiny little butterfly. And it's the same deal again, making sure I'm going down and not across when I'm screwing in. I finally got started okay so down at an angle please focus see how it's going down twist it in until it won't go in anymore and make sure it is sitting horizontal in line with the top and again it still clicks okay and that is there's one there's two this is one that I made last night it's got a little dragonfly on it and they're your pen charms. Now you can make your chain as long or as short as you want. Okay. Um, I prefer mine to come maybe a quarter of the way down. This one's a little bit longer. But these two are about the same length. I don't cut links. I do it by eye. Um, but if you want to go ahead and cut your links, you're more than welcome to do that. But that is how you attach cute little charms to your resin pens. Um, I don't usually offer this as an extra for my custom orders. Um, I just make for my ready to sell ones. I use pen wraps. Um, anything that I'm using a pen wrap on, just for a little added bonus, I will add a charm to. But I don't usually um, offer this to customers as, a, as an added extra. So please don't ask me what to charge because I wouldn't have any idea. But they are how to attach cute little charms to your resin pens. Nice quick one today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time.